We are in frigid Kansas City, Kansas, and this is gonna be another Roadkill episode where Mike picks the destination, I pick the car. I think our greatest example of that is when we did the lowrider. I really hope this lives up to that, because this is gonna be potentially better. I'm gonna laugh more. Please don't be a motorcycle. Please don't be a motorcycle. <laughs> Did you steal this from a theme park? Isn't it great? Tell me it floats. <laughs> I knew that was going to be the first question. Oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible. Isn't it the greatest? Bad and I love it and it has a CD player and oh Nashville sound. All right, country cool. music. Wow. So this is a 2010 Nissan Versa. Arguably the worst rental car I've ever had. And the boat is a 57 Glass Craft, not Chris Craft, not Glass Bar, Glass Craft. Boy, it is crap, all right. Holy <laughs> crap. Dude, it has 57 Chevy tail fins and moon discs and, and glitter. Tell me it floats. Tell me we're going straight to a lake. Nope. No amount of Flex Seal makes this float. Well, challenge accepted. <laughs> Wow, does the outboard work? I don't know. So Homeboy took a compact car and put a boat body on it. This has the crappy CV transmission that doesn't actually it ship. It doesn't. It's too old for that. It is actually a four-speed automatic. The engine, depending on what model this was, is either a 1.6 with 107 horsepower or 1.8 with 122 horsepower. Oh, so it needs 100 shot and we can double the power. Yeah. It has a parking brake, so it might do burnouts. Oh, well, let's, let's find out. Please. And uh, we're going to freeze. Oh, this is a convertible. I just noticed that right now. It's not a convertible. That would imply that it has a top that you can fold up. Oh, has this ever been on the highway? I don't think this is uh, going to make the trip. Ish. <laughs> but the seat reclines, which means I could get low enough where maybe it won't matter. And the heater works. And you can get low. And I can get low. Yeah. It's 27 degrees in Indy right now. Uh-huh. But it's not snowing. Oh, man. Uh, I guess we're going Indy. Let's go. Oh, oh it's, it's spicy. Peppy. Yeah. Oh, it rides pretty good. Brakes work. Oh, dude, tire scratch. All right. It's like a new car. Can you adjust the rearview mirror? I can't reach it. I feel like this windshield is maybe not in the stock location. Yeah. Down. Oh, perfect. That's weird. Oh. oh, maybe don't do that again. All the lights are on the dash, dude. Well, yeah, they removed all the airbags and all sorts of stuff, so that's going to happen. That noise sounded like the mechanical fan hitting something, but there shouldn't be a mechanical fan on this. Yeah. They put like a fart valve on this? It looks like it's smoking, but I think that's just steam. Look out the back. Ready? OK. Uh, yeah, let's go with steam. Steam yeah. sounds good. That's because it's freezing outside. Dude, just hearing that noise and staring at the light on the front of this thing is just a trip. <laughs> now the breeze is a little oppressive. We're going 65. Try 80. I want to see how bad it gets. It's floored. Yeah, that's 70. 70. 75. We're good. That's 80 right there. <laughs> that's a little cold. I did get us battery powered underwear. Oh, good. We don't have to share one, do we? No. OK, thank you. I may need to get the homeless blanket, though. Yeah, I think we're going to have to employ quite a few different methods for staying alive in this one. I feel like this is a pretty successful first test drive of the vehicle. It's raining now. It is actually raining. Ooh, 69 Impala. I know what to do with that. Supercharger and burnouts? Yeah. <laughs> That's a two-door. It's been sitting a while. We're 15 miles from a tire shop and a hotel. Oh, we can't leave these tires with tread on them, can we? I don't believe so. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Go 
overhead cam action. This thing has up to 122 horsepower. I don't feel I roasted our tire off enough. You're right. <laughs> Maybe you should check behind us before you do that, just as a tip. <laughs> Well, in a remarkable display of responsibility, we're gonna put new tires on this thing so we don't careen into a ditch when it like rains, snows, we hit ice. I randomly grab the e-brake on you when you're Yeah, that working. happens too. He's already turned the rear tires into stop signs grabbing the e-brake on me. So it's gonna take these guys a couple hours to get tires on this thing. I'm looking forward to finding out how they're gonna do that in the back since the tire's sort of captured under fiberglass. I'm sure they got a Sawzall or something. Well, I think we might have gone just a little bit overboard with the new tires, but they're done. And uh, I've put on my electric underwear because it's freezing. And we're at Lawrence Dragway, which is an abandoned eighth mile track here in Lawrence, Kansas. So we're gonna go check that out. You wanna drive it or walk it? I wanna drive it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go drag racing. Woohoo! Oh, tight squeeze. So this was a drag strip? Yep. Yeah, this opened in the late 50s and closed in 1986. I wonder There's if they closed when they bisected it with this road. It's like half of it's on this side of this main road and half's on the other side. Look, it's weird. They only put the concrete blocks where the pavement is. They yeah. just thought nobody would go off-roading. <laughs> that was quality. I give that credit. <laughs> hey, maybe it'll go backwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, we you got this. It. You did it. <laughs> this is way slicker than whatever we were doing yesterday. Good thing these tires are new. I really like the smoke out of the gas. That's the best part of the whole thing. I'm so glad we got new tires. Yeah. <laughs> there. Yes. <laughs> Doing it. Oh, we got both of them going now. <laughs> You're cooking up. <laughs> oh, we're down. Yeah, like, it looks like a forest fire. I feel like we should leave. OK. Ahoy. That was a great drag strip. Yeah, I liked it. Mom back. I'm going to back you in. Mom back. We figured we had to try a boat ramp, right? This thing's completely open in the underside. There's no, like, hull. There's no chance it floats. Uh, let's see. You got about 15 feet of concrete here. Let me look. You can back up more. I hear the exhaust in the water. Oh, yeah, exhaust is in. And Herbals. stop. There's about a foot behind you. You're not quite in the water here. You, hmm, we might want to wet the tires. I'd stop there. After that, it goes off into the drink. So are you winking at me right now? Like, There's, <laughs> hang on. What are, you, what, are you, what are you saying? Hang on. All right, this is going to be a different version of what we like to call the roadkill boat launch. Oh, this is working. <laughs> yeah! Both tires! No, one tire. I can't see. That was amazing. <laughs> I can't see nothing, dude. I feel like James Bond. It's just coming out of the dash. That was so good. Wow. You know what the best part was? Was the exhaust underwater. Sounded like a motorboat. <laughs> Do it again. OK. Slow 
Whoa! <laughs> okay. A little more. Stop. I really like that wet gravel for the parking brake turn. You wanna try it? Try it. Might have slipped a little bit. Might have. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let off. I think it's unhappy. It's making less power than it did when we arrived. Uh huh. <laughs> Probably pretty hot. Yeah, we'll just chill on our way to Indy. At this point in the show, I know that you, like us, have noticed the disappointing reliability of the Nissan Versa on which the boat is based. We plan to challenge that reliability with nitrous oxide. Here's how that's gonna work. First, we're gonna have a drag race here and we have acquired a 2021 Nissan Versa. Not the same car, it is the same 1.6 liter engine. It is the higher output version that we have here, but it does have the disadvantage of the CVT, the constantly variable transmission, which means constantly awful transmission. Speaking of constantly awful, we do have our own version of the Stig. We call him the Stink. Yes, it is producer Taylor ready to drive the 2021 versus Mike Finnegan in the boat. I think you know how this is gonna end. And once it does end, we're gonna go to the hose on the boat. Here we go. Three, two. Oh, oh God, you God. definitely treat him. Go, car, go. Oh, we're running away from that pile. Go, car. <laughs> whoa, 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 hit the hazards. Oh, great on and everything. Wow, that could have been a lot more impressive. <laughs> we might have to go again. Let's give him the go. Give him the go? Yeah, give him the jump. All right. Oh, you hear him staging it? <laughs> you ready to go again? I am. Three, two, Ah, oh, good. Just play with him. Play with him. Play with him. Oh, we're running away from it. Oh, no, now he's starting to get That's because I let off the gas. We still win. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That was that curve. I was racing back, wondering about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's the hazards? <laughs> we win. That is weak. We might have wore out our e-brake. Maybe. Sorry, Stink. All right. You've been fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of surprised this one. So I, I. I would have thought the technology would have improved. <laughs> I know. I'm like, that's got to make more power than this. This is 107. Oh. That's 122, but I guess it's just that much more heavy. And wow. the CVT sucks. Oh, this... Have you ever driven one? No. It's, it's like driven a loose converter. It's just. Uh... It never shifts. That's two rounds for the boat, which honestly shocked us. And so now we're going to throw the stink out of the seat, and I'm going to get in and see if I can do better. Maybe you had the parking brake on the whole time. That's possible. Freiberger, are you ready? Ready. All right, Mason, give us a three count and then blast the horn. Oh, I got the whole shot. Captain Foles, get the hazards. You ain't got nothing. Oh. 
The boat cannot be beaten. All right, he obviously got the jump on me there, but still, the boat is clearly faster than this pile. I can't even believe that. Yeah. Victory is mine. Ha! I feel like we need nitrous now. I would like to let the record show that not only did I tree him, I beat him to the finish line and gave him the hazards and gave him the womp, womp, womp. Yeah, you did great. You got the jump on me, but it's still, that thing's way quicker. Yeah, that just means it needs nitrous. Maybe this does. Okay, let's nitrous that car. Let me tell you a little story about how cool the internet is. Yesterday, we decided the boat car might not be as fast as the not rental car. And so we decided we needed nitrous for the boat car. We went on Facebook Marketplace, found a whole lot of used nitrous bottles for sale, but nobody that wanted to meet up with us which is weird, I know. So I called my friend Jonathan, who says, yeah, I have this trophy that I won from the king of the open road drag and drive event, and it's empty, but you can come borrow it, fill it, use it on the not rental car, and then bring it back to me when you're all done. So that's what we're gonna do. Thank you, J-Rod, for making a cool event with cool trophies, and thank you, Jonathan, for loaning us your nitrous bottle. Easiest nitrous installation ever. Wait for it. So step one is to secure the bottle, and normally you'd have some brackets and some bolts and things and drill holes in your car, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put it right here, and then we're gonna secure it, probably with gaffer's tape and a seat belt. Perfect, because Freiburger can reach over here and crack the valve open when he wants his nitrous. Then we're just gonna shove this into the air box without even drilling a hole into it, and rely on the EFI in our Nissan to self-adjust for the extra O2 it's gonna get out of this hose. It's gonna be amazing. Ready when you are. Do not do this at home. Ooh, the performance. Um, where's the actual inlet? Right here, if we take the lid off, but zip tie that there, we can just kind of fog it in the general area, you know, in the vicinity. Oh, look at that. Let's just zip tie it right here, or gaff tape it. See what we have going on? It's gonna spray out of here and sort of find its way into the air filter right there. This is by far the best moment of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah, I think tell your friends, just fast forward to the end. It gets great. I think the folks at home are gonna love this too. And then we just put that under the lid right there. Yeah. Kind of prop well, it we up. We gotta tape, yeah, that's the key. See? <laughs> Do not do this at home or behind an abandoned warehouse anywhere or to a rental car. It's not a rental, it's Ernie's. All oh, right. There we go. It's got to give it a little up. I think it's probably hitting the uh, that. It'll be OK. See? You ready? I can see the nitrous coming out. Oh, dude, it's working. It's working. He's absolutely beating me. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> dude, 100% work. What? <laughs> it just ran out of the hook, and it's totally working. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> he freight trained me. I'm a little jealous. I kind of want nitrous now. <laughs> oh, that was awesome.